Okay guys, this is my albino Burmese python. I uh, had to wait actually till she started taking the prey down. She gets a little little shy in the beginning. She likes to kind of get started, so I always like to wait till she gets the head and at least one or two feet in. Now she's about uh, she's about four and a half, five months, something like that. Kind of guesstimating. But any event, she is about five, about five foot right now. When I got her, she looked like a little worm. Now she's eating uh, large rats. This one in particular is the biggest one she's ever eaten because this is actually a jumbo, a small jumbo. And they were out of large, so and I usually feed her frozen, so I had to kill this one first. Which, for anyone who keeps snakes, they know how fun that is. Lots of blood. But she's making work of this one. I'm going to have to sit back here and zoom in so it's not going to be the most stable. If I get real close to her, she gets real kind of bizarre. As you can see, she's got the head. She's going to move past the arms real soon. There she goes. Let's see. Okay. Notice how the whole mouth and the whole body literally expand to get this sucker in. Um. When I got her, like I said, she was tiny. Now I can't fit my whole hand around her. And uh, she's growing. But I love to watch them eat. Not from any kind of, uh, you know, strange death kind of thing, but I think it's, it's kind of cool to watch them actually take their food down. I mean, you try swallowing a whole side of beef without chewing it. Let's back up just a hair. Unfortunately, she's not giving us a real good view. But, there's the, see the little blood right there? I had to kill this one and feed it to her. Like I said, I didn't feed her frozen, so. I'll have to clean her off afterward, too. And the other reason why I do not like feeding live, or even just freshly killed live, is just the parasites and, you know, the potential sicknesses they could get and mites and that kind of stuff. If they're frozen, that stuff's already been dead, dead and gone. Excuse me, I'm going to itch my nose. It may get a little shaky. That wasn't too bad, now was it? Okay, she's about... Where the heck is she? Let's see how far down she's gotten. Now let's back up. I can't see anything. This is all in HD, folks. I love high def. Since they made these cameras, I tell you what, I find myself filming every damn thing. But I thought it would be kind of cool to actually get her on video taking down, a, taking down a jumbo rat. As you can see, she's still, I mean, she's still young, as you can tell. Look, she, there's more blood on her right there. But you can tell she's still young because she still has some orange in her. You know, the older a, uh, an albino Burmese gets, the more yellow it gets. And, uh... You know, when you get them when they're babies, I'm going to scratch my nose again. When you get them when they're babies, they're all orange. Just a cool shade of orange. But she's gotten, she's gotten, as you can tell, a little bit of both. She's turning, and it may not show it in this video, but she's actually turning more orange than yellow, or more yellow than orange now. Which kind of sucks, because I liked, I liked her little, her little orange color. But that's what happens.
you get one of the world's largest snakes and um, they're going to grow rather quickly. Burmese pythons definitely are aggressive eaters. I also had a couple reticulated pythons at one point which I had to sell and um, the only other I think more aggressive to feeders that I had seen at least that I've had were the uh, I had a super tiger retic and just a plain old regular pattern retic and I also had an olive python which was actually that was the most insane eater I'd ever seen and the thing could literally be the size of your wrist and you could throw a pig in there and she'd take the damn thing down I'm being facetious but she could take down a lot just like if you can tell I'm gonna back back up a little bit the size of her I mean she's not gigantic yet I mean she's only five foot some odd and she's not super super thick but she'll stay she'll still take all that down and it's still even though it's a, a large slash jumbo rat, it still isn't going to be that big of a meal for you. You'll see once she takes it down, it'll leave a bulge in her stomach, definitely. But um, she'll have that digested within 48 hours. I don't touch my snakes, incidentally, before 48 hours after they eat. If it's a uh, regular size meal. If it's a big meal like this... I might even wait, hell, I might even wait three days or two and a half. But I will definitely kick the heat up on this a little bit. I usually keep the uh, hot spot about 95, 95 degrees, something like that. Cold spot's about 80, 81, 82. Um, when she eats a real big meal like this, what I like to do is kick up, kick up the whole temperature. I mean, her hot spot's about 97 degrees or so. Maybe 98. It's hot. And then her ambient, I keep usually about 83, maybe 84, hot. And it's good when they're digesting something, which is a big, big meal for them, because it helps their digestion process. As you can see, she's gotten a good load in. You can see. This is where it gets cool. And I love snakes, man. I know there's a lot of people who get grossed out or freaked out, and they say, why would you want to keep a snake? Hell, why wouldn't you? They're cool animals. I mean, they're about as low maintenance as you get. You know, a couple times a week you clean out the cage. Once a week you disinfect it with some chlorhexidine, and guess what? She's done. Although I think myself in particular if you're gonna buy a giant snake ie a reticulated python Burmese python African rock python yeah you need to you need to handle these snakes regularly and I will only buy a giant snake when they're babies like I got my two retics when they were a baby I got her when she was a baby just because you know what I don't want to go ahead and inherit a uh, 10 to 13 foot size uh, Burmese which was very rarely handled and had an attitude so the more you handle them obviously you all know this already but the more you handle them the more docile they get and she is just a peach I mean she is totally friendly except except if you're red <laughs> or except if you have actually smell of red on your hand which if you have smell of red on your hand and you stick your hand in um, snake cage you obviously shouldn't own a snake because you don't know much about it ooh something got blurry there but you can see she's coming oh let's see where is she about and she's got a good good portion down let's see if she can uh, take the rest down yeah well I know she can let's just see how long it's going to take now this will do her I feed her just because she's not mature yet I still feed her once a week but if it's a abnormally large meal like this is bigger than she normally gets 
I'll wait a little while. I'll wait like a week and a half or heck, I've waited a couple weeks. You can. It's not a big deal. I usually like to wait till they uh till they have a couple nice healthy bowel movements. Especially after you give them something big. That's the only risk that you run. If you give them something real big, they can get constipated a little bit bit easier as as if it were something, you know, smaller. So any event, she's doing her job on this sucker. No, don't bite yourself. That's not a good thing. I didn't buy you to have you go ahead and put marks on your own body. Yeah, that's right. Get your teeth out of your skin. Get the teeth out of your own. There you go. She actually had herself clasped in her own grasp. If that's not a dim-witted snake, I don't know what is. <laughs> no, she's very cool. I love this snake. She's great. She's a great animal. And she's got pretty much all of it. If you go down and focus all the way down, there goes the feet. And if you go all the way down, you can obviously see where the rat is. It just ends about there. So she's gone ahead and taken that thing down. It's been about 10 minutes. Now I think she's just going to... Uh... Oh yeah, she's still... I didn't even see it through this video recorder. She's got the tail. Then of course comes the... Uh... The ritualistic uh... readjusting of the jaw. Which is actually pretty cool. But as you can see, she's... Uh... She's a pretty cool animal. Guys, I've tried to keep this as still as I can, but sure would help if I had my tripod set up. But it looks like she's just getting down the last of the meal now. Let's get up, maybe get a little different perspective. What do you think? Here we go. Hold on with me because I'm going to get up. Okay, here we go. I'm getting up. Let's get a look at her from here. First off, let's go and see if she's uh, taking that tail down and the rest of it. Yeah. She's got that down. Now you notice the nice little bulge. Although, look, I noticed this bug the hell out of me. I think she scraped herself. This was because I only feed them frozen frozen rats, but I think she scraped herself. There was something on the uh, on the hide, in the wooden hide, that, that uh, I think she scraped herself on. Got a little cut, but in any event, that is it. The Burmese python, my Burmese python. My kids named her Lazerts, short for lazy. But you can see there's their little bulge. Starting from that little head all the way down. And there she's uh, she's done eating. I'm gonna turn on her heat lamp, and I will post this. Peace.